you see. <clears throat> right, we've got off the bus there the number one from Weston. I just got the other camera. I'm going to do video and camera. I've decided not to do a massive walk today after doing quite a big walk on the Mendips just a couple of days ago on Monday. It's now Thursday. I did quite a big walk. Um, a very pleasant, enjoyable walk. The walk is always the best part. Not waiting for the bus. Anyway, I just managed to get on this bus, which is, this was a late, this bus was actually late. By a quarter of an hour. And I saw it going, oh, I thought, oh, I'm not going to make it. This one is late and there's another one coming. But there were so many people getting off and so many people getting on. I was able to um, get it. I saw the one I was supposed to get coming along the opposite direction. So I'd actually got a bus a quarter of an hour earlier than I thought I would. <coughs> anyway, this is a little walk I do. If I don't want to overdo it, I'm coming along here and then I'll walk back up the beach and into the wood. I didn't bring a windshield though, so I hope I'm not going to freeze. Hello darling, can we take a picture of you? There's a nice little horse look, I'll take a picture. Hello, how are you doing? You feeling nice and cool? Yeah. Oh, okay. You know this electric vents, don't you, eh? Are you beautiful? You are beautiful. I expect you're very loved. By them. Yeah. Sometimes they put like a hat on them as well. Oh, he's got his coat there to protect him from flies. Anyway, this walk I've done a few times. I rarely share it actually. <laughs> I've got so many I don't share because they're just like little videos I do. I tend to share the big hikes and drive people crazy probably. <laughs> So anyway, I'm recording this on the little Sony and I've got this little camera which is just doing photos. Over the troll bridge we go. Yeah, when I'm not when I don't want to overdo it, I've got this little walk I do. Well not totally little. Where I walk up to the pontins. <coughs> Sometimes I go in pontins if I need the ladies or anything. Then I walk down onto the beach, walk back up the beach towards Whirlbury Wood. Go through the wood, go back into Western and Home. Because I have done Sand Bay recently a couple of times. So I thought I won't do that today. When I mean that, I mean I won't be going up onto Sand Point, Middle Hope, or St Thomas Point. I'm not going up that end at all. But sometimes this end of the beach gets neglected because I tend to be up the other end most of the time. So if I do this little walk, I get to have a little walk on the beach this end of town. And as you can see, there's the there's the wood. We'll be walking through that a bit later on the way on the way back. <coughs> I've got some water. I've had my lunch. I'm not really hungry, but I've just brought some crisps and a couple of oat bars. I've got some sweets. bit wheezy. I might have to have a puff on my inhaler when I get up to the gate up here. There's some more horses. Oh, 
Like I said, I do these videos, I do save them to disc. And one day, you never know, they might come in handy. That has happened to me before. When um, I was, people re were requesting footage of the wood once. And I started, when I started worrying about the clearing of the trees, I started to share some of my videos of what the wood looked like, say 15 years ago, and what it looks like now. Anyway, we've got, next door they've got the scaffolders in, they've got building work going on, on their house. So I've temporarily moved into the bedroom with my desk to, uh, for peace. But they haven't been too noisy, the scaffolders are the noisiest. Obviously they can't help it because it's metal poles. A lot of banging and clanging. A lot of shouting as well. Um, pole number 10! <laughs> you shout it out. They're all numbered, you see, the poles. They've got to have the right ones. Right, I'm going to stop here in this little area here, just for a minute, to get a, have a puff on the old Weezer. There is a high pollen a lot. I haven't had to do that, you know, even when I've been out on the hills. But there was a lot of perfume on the bus. That can spark me, not natural fragrances. Right, over and out for a minute. Right, had a couple of puffs on my inhaler. Just come through that little gate there. Like I said, people in the holiday village here would probably come through here to go to the pub, go to the shop. Um, there's a couple more horses over there. That noise you can hear is my camera. When I turn it off, it makes a ding-dong sound. It's handy having two small cameras doing this actually, but the quality of the new camera is not very good. I still owe 60 quid on it, but it isn't worth 60 quid, I'll tell you that. But it's better than nothing. It's a record in time for now until I can one day get a good Sony again. If I could get a good Sony again. I got two Sony's really good ones, but they need some attention. They probably don't need a lot, but they're so sophisticated they can go wrong. I mean, I just shove them in my pockets when I'm going along and, you know, things like that. There's one coming over, he was coming over. They probably get, well, one got sand in it in a sandstorm on the beach. It was, that was wrecked very, very quickly. You can't actually claim back on the insurance on that either, apparently. So, it did used to work a bit, but they were really, really good at Zoom and homing in on, say, birds and that, and really good images. Best cameras I've ever had in my life. Those, those. I've got a little Sony now. But at the moment, this one won't take pictures and they all come out white. I don't know what to do about that. You can't, there aren't camera shops anymore where you can go and ask a, a camera person. You know, years ago, you could take your camera to a shop and they would have a look at it for you. And they probably wouldn't charge you much either. You know, that's the trouble with modern technology now. It can cost you as much. Wait a minute, I've got to try and open this door. It can cost you as much to get it repaired as to buy another one, almost. 
except my Sonys are about, well they've gone up from 400 to nearly a thousand pound now, believe it or not, they're really good, but they're very, they're like a, a really good racehorse, so you've got to treat them with care. This little Sony's done quite well. Like I said, it might be just a case of someone saying to me, oh, you just got to alter that setting there, Sheila, and yet that light problem will go away. Now, I've fiddled and fiddled. It will work in the, in the dark. So there is something I haven't done right. But if you put it on automatic, it doesn't seem to make any difference. So, it's a bit annoying, really. So just a little introduction to some of the walks I do and I don't want to do a big walk but I don't want to stay in the flat either but I do need to have a bit of stretching I do this one in the winter as well um, when it's and you don't always have to do the beach I can do it in reverse as well walk up the beach and then come back this way and pick the bus up do you know what I mean? It can be done either way. You can walk through the wood, come up the beach, then walk back down this way and catch a bus. Now we've only got a week of the hourly bus, of the half hourly bus. Very soon it'll be over to very soon it'll be over to hourly again. Which is all right if you get there on time, but if you miss that hourly one, just enough a long wait. Do you know what I mean? It's a really long wait that is. If you miss that hourly bus, it's a long hour, especially in the winter. I don't know why they do that because people come to Pontins all year round. You know, you get groups of people, get netball players. So I'm just going a little bit further along this lane. This is all part of the pontins, these buildings behind here. All part of the accommodation and facilities. I don't need to go in there today. Into the, I go into the bar area if I need to use the ladies. Yeah, it's handy sometimes if you're caught short. You have to pay 30p if you use the one at the bus stop. So here we are. Holiday bungalows. I'm not sure if they've got a swimming pool. I don't think they have here. Yeah. I don't know if they have or not. Anyway. You've got a restaurant that they've got bits and pieces here. You go around the back, they've got a big hall for entertainment. They've got a big parking space at the back as well. I'm just going to walk across here. Some of these, um, <coughs> the pontins over at Burnham Breen <coughs> is being used by Hinkley Point workers apparently. Or it was going to be, but I think there was a lot of complaints about the non-stop double-decker buses that would be going up and down the road day and night picking up the workers. So I've got a feeling they've said that the accommodation wouldn't be suitable unless there was a mass conversion because it's mainly for summer you see mainly for the summer Right, so ahead of me there's this, the steps going up onto the promenade, bit of a defence structure, 
The sea seems to get closer and closer these days with the dunes disappearing. Um, yeah, the wind seems to be coming off the Atlantic, off the Bristol Channel. It's not cold. It's quite blowy though. Right, I'm going to turn off for a minute. I'll come back on in a minute.